what I, what I usually tell people is is people people ask like should I get a Dynavab because the, the, people are scared of the torch a lot of times you know yeah yeah and I, I I tell people that if you can get past the torch mm-hmm. throw away all of your other considerations and get a Dynavab like even if you don't think like you want that kind of vapor like if if you're happy with your little flower mate or whatever I, I found that when people find the groove with the Dynavab their level of vapor satisfaction from cannabis goes from a two to a 10. Like it, yeah. it, it, it can turn people into what, I, what I call a raving fan or it's, it's a, it's a business term from years ago. Like you build these raving fans and they're, they're passionate about your brand and about your brand's community. You know, everyone becomes a, a marketer, a, a word of mouth marketer of Dynavat yeah. be, because of the raving fan syndrome. Everybody loves it so much that they're right. Yeah, it's and, pretty and, tough that it can hit hard enough to convert smokers and even the ones that are looking for hard hits. It really skeptical smokers even. using the flame. It, it's pretty hard to, to use a, a flame vape that doesn't hit hard. And this one just rolls right in there with it and, and, and beats them up really well. I, and, I kind of this is one of the few vapes that I've got like a handful of vapes that I kind of say, I wish that would have been someone's first vape because you, you get so much out of it in terms of a standard you ought to have. I mean, when you, but this is your first vape, you realize, you know, it doesn't need to be big. Um, You know, it doesn't need to be clunky. You don't need digital control. You'll learn how to do it yourself. You kind of come become one with the tool. Um, It's, I don't know, man, there's just, there's something about when you get really good at this thing that just makes a lot of fun to, it's like a partner. You, you build a little relationship with your vape. Like you, you develop a little knowledge of its unique performance characteristics and mm-hmm. it, it forms a relationship with you so, you know every, and 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 it's so true because every cap is different i've got so many different caps and every cap has its own little personality has its own little click and you get to and you get to learn that's true kind of how <clears throat> how that specific cap uh reacts to the flame or an induction heater and the other thing that i really 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 love about dynavap is what I've seen as a woodworker, I've been woodworking for quite a long time. Um, I did pens for nine years before I found out about Dynavet. And uh, I'm starting to see a lot more people getting in the wood shop or just getting creative and just making shit, making cases, making stems, making bodies, making making stands, uh, all sorts of crazy things to, to personalize this thing. So not only are, are we taking something that's a, a, a healthier, uh, alternative to smoking but it's you're creating a personal relationship and then what happens is people start to go tell people like man this fucking dynav app is just a fucking hitter uh let, let me let me let you try it and I, I i there's sometimes well i'll i'll go somewhere that nobody's ever seen it before and i'll heat it up for them and i'll say try this and they're kind of hesitant and they're like uh and they try it and then their eyes light up and they're like oh that's fucking good I'm like, let's hit it a couple more times. And then they, then they, then I, I see their eyes just get big and their, their, the, the gear start grinding and they're like, okay, that's an option now. It's, and, and it's fun to see people convert. And it, I've seen, I've seen people convert often because of, yeah. because of the Dynavap. Yeah. I've, I've watched, I've watched people that refuse to hit my vap cap. People that say, oh no, I don't, I don't vape. I've tried vapes. I don't like vapes. And I, and I have to say, no, 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 no. Come on. Let's, let's try this. Like we're together. I don't want to, I don't want to smoke your joint. And if you're not going to try my vape. Yeah. And then I get them to try my vape in the middle of a joint session. And b- before the end of the joint, they're, they're like, shit, 70 bucks. I'm going to go buy one of these right now. You yeah. know, like they, yeah. they, they get the hits from a, a, a tenth of the weed that's in that joint. Mm-hmm. And they, they get so much more taste and more, more high out of it and more status, more satisfaction. What I think is really cool about the Dynav app, and I've 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 went on a spree the past month to really try and acquire as many name brand vapes that are out there. There is nothing as modular as a Dynav app that exists. There's just nothing because keep the keep the airport open, keep it closed, flood of the airport. You don't like this glass one? Great, get yourself a wooden one and make your own wood wooden. If you don't want wood and you want something super crazy, get something that's titanium. There are so many options out there that will that can literally suit whatever it is that somebody is looking for. And, and that is why uh, it's still, it, I don't, I don't know what you did to me, George. 
but since day one, <laughs> since day one, it's been a problem. <laughs> Uh, been a problem or it's been a solution right no it's been a solution it's it's been amazing and i, I definitely it's been I a definitely life changer for you austin yeah it's been an absolute life changer for me absolutely it has yep and, and you know don't mind me butting in guys but it's been mm -hmm. a life changer for me too <laughs> right on man i can imagine i can imagine yes yes you guys are doing a great job you know continuing to build the community around you know something that we all kind of cherish and hopefully, as uh, things continue to progress in our world, in our society, more people will feel more comfortable doing the same sort of thing. Right. And hopefully, you know, the, the tools that we manufacture, well, hopefully they'll play a role and hopefully a positive one. I think you absolutely, you have, and your, your products have, and the community behind Dynavap is proof of, of that. Yeah, I, I, I would say so too. I, I mean, I'm, I'm on social media often. I mean, that's kind of where I, I spend a lot of my time. And it's just, it's, it's incredible to see how many, how many people talk about Dynavap. And I mean, me personally, you obviously know what I do. <laughs> and I have a lot of interactions with, with customers that experience a Dynavap and, and people get so excited. I mean, I, I had a customer recently, Sammy B. Davis, he's on here. Um, who he had a PAX three that he was using and he was, he was trying to get his fiance to stop uh, uh, combusting. And he got a, 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 a titanium Dynavap tip of cap with a vortex and they stopped and now they've got three of them. And then that's all they use. And like that to me is just so fucking cool. And obviously that wouldn't be here with, without what you've created. And that's, and that's just so fucking cool to me. Um, but you know, we have hours of conversations about that all the time. So, you know, all you know the time, <laughs> all it, the time. It is fun, but uh, when you say things like that, the first thing that comes to mind is, yeah, I might have been there in the beginning, but it's so much more than me at this point. It's there's, there's no way that this would be what it is if it weren't for the significant contributions of not only the people that work at Dynabat, but you guys and the there's other number of other people in the community that are contributing in ways that we may not even realize at this point. And that's what I think is exciting is that it's starting to take on a life of its own. And thankfully we're along for the ride. Yeah, right. that's, that's, that's the truth. That's what I like about uh, the, the Dynavap community is not only are they so quick to recommend Dynavaps to people, they're also there to help troubleshoot and to help mm -hmm. people get the best experience. Like when somebody posts like, Oh, I got the Dynavap and it doesn't work right. Or I'm not getting vapor. Like people are not not there to be dicks about it. They're they're there to help. And you don't always see that with with uh, with stoner communities. True. Yeah, man, and that that's that's really cool. I see it. I, I'll check I'll check Reddit every now and then. And Dynavap is just always up on uh, on while I'm scrolling through my pages. And there are people that will say, "Hey, my cap does it," or "My cap falls off," or whatever. And there's somebody on there like, "Hey, make sure you squeeze it between your thumb and index finger." And there's it's really cool to see how supportive the community is, um, especially around Dynavap. It's 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 fucking a, a incredible thing to be a part of. And now we get to see George stroke his kitty on live TV. Hot diggity, man. Yeah. If you wanted to stop name? it and say hi. <laughs> this is his name, man. This this is Maya. Maya. Maya, right on. Yeah. Yep. Picked her up from a rescue. She likes to talk. Nice. Okay. She's vocal. A vocal yeah, kitty. Not right now, but uh uh you yeah, know there's 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 times. Not normally at night, but uh, especially when like you come home, she likes to sit on the top of the couch and say hi. Oh man. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's been cool really watching, watching what Dynavap has done in the space. I mean, I remember when you, you sent me the, the glass ones in the very beginning to, to kind of see, see what, what you had going there. And it's, it's, I can't believe as I sit here and look at this armada, what, what's come of it in such a short amount of time. And, and yet the, the, uh, the culture, the community, the, um, the quality of the products and the and the the really the kind of a I'd say cult following except it's it's bigger and better than that you know what I mean it's it's it, it, it's better than that I think and and I uh, really I guess just the loyalty I mean uh, this kind of shit doesn't happen without you know loyalty so um, 
anyhow, it's, it's just been great watching it. And it doesn't happen very often in this space. You know, I mean, I've seen a lot of companies come and go and come and sit. And, you know, quite frankly, there aren't there aren't a whole lot that have that have gone from A to B like Dynavap has in the last, you know, five to seven years or however long it's been. And so, um, yeah, man, it's it, it's been cool seeing where you're at. And, and, and I love that, like, I can tell the ride's just beginning, like you, you're just getting started, you know, and and I can't wait to see where it goes uh, from here. What you keep doing with your your fractal oh, nature, man. Man, uh, I, I tell you, I sure hope that that's the case. You know, and it, it, it's something that I reflect on almost every single day. Is like, this is awesome. I want to enjoy it for everything that it, it it has, because it could end tomorrow. So, with that in mind, I want to make sure that I'm doing the best that I can and that I'm encouraging everyone around me to do the same so that we can keep this ride going and continue enjoying the hell out of everything that we're doing because I feel like, yeah, we're just starting to get some traction here. We're starting to build some infrastructure. Holy cow, if we can keep this community behind us and give us the support that we need so we can implement these resources, oh boy, watch out. We're gonna do some really cool things. I love that, man. I love in, it. in the face of a society and industry that typically approaches things as, okay, what's mine and how can I protect it and not let anybody else get any? And, and, and to see you implement the opposite mindset and to see what, how, that, how that's rewarded, it's, that, that's, that's beautiful. I, it's been fun to watch. I appreciate you doing that and being open about it so that we can be part of the ride. I really do feel part of the ride and that's, that's really what, what you do. And, and I, I want, I want to, I want to be like that and as well. You're an inspiration that way. Well, so are you, Jerry. I mean, look how long you've been a significant part of this community. And, you know, and Troy, you've been around for a while, Austin, you jumped on board and, and look at the community that's growing around you as well. And it's just one of these things that if we embrace it and nurture it, that's where the amazing things happen. And, you know, I, I hope we can do more of this and we can be engaging and we can empower the people to do the things that they may not have really felt comfortable or confident enough to do, but it's possible. And let's, let's help them out, help them discover who they really are. Because when, when that moment occurs, it's just such an empowering thing. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, Austin, you know, as you just kind of discover that, wow, I can do this. That's, that's, that's it. It's, it's uh, f from starting this whole journey. I mean, I started doing like thinking about bigger things uh, or having thoughts about creating things or whatever for like n a long time with pens. This thing came along and, and it's, it's been an, it's been an crazy, it's been crazy <clears throat> for the fact that I remember when I first saw it and somebody asked me to make a body and I kind of just like shoot it away at, at, at first. I'm like, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a tube with a hole in it, right? A round tube with a hole in it. And then I made it and then I tried it and then, and then I kept making it and making it. And it's been incredibly uh, obsessive ever since. And to see, <clears throat> to see the self-development that I've had personally since Dynavap and pursuing the uh, imagination and the ideas and, and the, the door that kind of just opened like, Hey, this is here if you try and then to execute and do it and continue to do it and overcome crazy obstacles and continuing to do so has just been an absolute pleasure and, and challenging life changing experience. We're certainly working on, uh, but you know, here, here's another interesting thing that I feel very, very fortunate about. And that's, by and large, the vast majority of the people that have begun working with us uh, have just kind of decided whether or not it was the right fit at the outset. And I would think that even some of them kind of discovered themselves in the process. And that, uh, you know, over the course of you know months to even a few years in some cases, I've uh, kind of found out that, you know what, maybe I actually do like these sorts of things, or I really do enjoy this, or now... I can go after that thing. And so to answer your question specifically, not directly, but uh, we're certainly looking to continue our improving our onboarding process. 
But even more than that, now that we have a little bit of an online presence, the, the real true goal in terms of building the, the company, in terms of the people that work there every day, is to create a culture that is magnetic. Because, yeah, of course, I love magnets. I mean, who doesn't like magnets? The, <laughs> fucking magnets. Uh, How do they work? Uh, let, let, let's, let's, let's create a the magnetic... plot thickens with George <laughs> Dutel. You know, let's create a magnetic work environment that is just so good that the people just come and that they, they contact us via email. Uh, say, hey, you know, you got any jobs? Here's the things I like to do. Well, that person's generally already pre-qualified themselves that they're probably going to be a good fit in the culture. And so for anyone out there that's watching, you know, might as well just use this opportunity to say, hey, if you're looking for a cool job and you like the kind of discussion that we've had tonight, you like the industry that we operate in, look us up. If we don't have a spot for you right now, if uh, the community and our civilization continues to keep rolling things in our favor, we hopefully will soon. Oh yeah, it's amazing. man. That's amazing. It, and I, I can vouch for that, man, because like I said, I've been there a couple of times and I literally feel like family when I go there. It's, it's an incredible, incredible, inspiring environment uh that that this man has created it's it's insane when i go there i want to i actually want to host a barbecue because i like i like cooking and i think it'd be rad oh, man, to connect my my two communities I, I have a weber a weber community that's really strong in, in chicago and nice. it'd be awesome to swing oh. up there with some big grills and cook some and real food who are you gonna bring? Because you know it'd be a shame if you've got this connection in the community. Bring some of your friends. So, you know that's to me that that's a big part of what life is all about. Is you know you could have just tons of money, but if you don't have anyone to share it with, what's it worth? I don't have tons of money. <laughs> <By any means. laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would definitely. I got the share part down, man. <laughs> well, in, that check. <laughs> We should have a we should have a four twenty vape zone Dynavat meetup in in Wisconsin. All right, that'd like a whole community thing. Like I'm coming. Organize that'd be, a whole. That'd be whole wild. I'd be. Fu- I'd I'd one thousand percent be there. 